Hi guys, hope you're well. So I have been desperate since I got my Globemaster on January the 1st to get it on the bracelet. I've ordered it January the 1st and tomorrow is the 1st of March and I still haven't freaking got it. So I turned my hand to a non-official bracelet. I thought I'd get a Jubilee bracelet for it. I think I've dropped a bit of a bollock. What do you guys think? I'm Andrew and I'm a watch addict. So yeah, I've bought a Jubilee for my Amiga Globemaster. Uh, I'm sat in the lounge, I'm just about to get a beer, watch a bit of football, but I thought while I've got it all set up to be filming my daughter do some games, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to try and gauge the opinion of this watch strap. Now, it only costs 50 quid. I won't mention where I've got it from because ultimately it's a 50 quid bracelet. And if it had end links, I think it would possibly do the business. So I feel like I've just wasted 50 quid, to be honest. And I think ultimately the clasp is okay. It's not amazing, but again, it's only a 50 quid bracelet. I think, does it look okay? I just know what, it's all down to the end links, I think for me. When I showed the wife, she said, oh, I think it's really gonna suit having it on a bracelet. But then she did the old jangle test and she's like, oh, that's a bit crappy. I think Jubilees are a little bit more jangly, aren't they? But for me, oh, it's all about them end links. When it's not solid end links, I think for me, it just it just looks exactly what it is. Like I put a, a random strap on this watch, and we're in the date just at the moment. <coughs> Excuse me. And I think having that integration, I, I, I've underestimated it in my previous life. I just think it just makes the watch whole, solid and complete. And what I did think is because across there, it is actually quite straight. So I actually thought that a straight end strap might do the business and I might get away with it. But it just, I don't think cringe is the right word to use, but I am. When I look at it, I'm like, it should work on a Jubilee. It's got the fluid bezel. There's no reason why it wouldn't work, but actually it just looks like an aftermarket bracelet and it's really annoying me. Now, I'm desperate to get the proper bracelet on this, but actually I haven't been wearing it as much as I wanted to. I've always said that I am more of a bracelet guy and that's why I've been desperate. I thought, well, I'll get it on a different bracelet. What I want to know, guys, is could you live with it without the end links? Does it look acceptable? Is it something you do? I mean, I like the idea of a Jubilee. I'm not too bothered that it only costs 50 quid. In a way, it sort of devalues the watch, a bit like when you put it on a, you know, a 20 quid leather strap. I think for me, it always sort of takes the value out of it a little bit for me. It's nice for a change every now and then, but actually, I've spent 50 quid on this. I've taken the links out, I've changed it. There's no way I can send it back. And it just doesn't quite sit right with me. So I feel really pissed off. <laughs> I feel pissed off at... A, I haven't got the proper bracelet. B, I've spent 50 quid when I shouldn't have done. The wife's probably going to watch this and give me a telling off as well. So, yeah, I am proper miffed at the moment. I really, really wanted it to work as well. So, just a quick video, guys. What do you think? Have I dropped an absolute clanger? Or actually, do you think, oh, I don't think it looks bad. I think it looks nice. I want it to work. I'm trying to get it to work, but actually... I wore it all day yesterday, but I was in the house. I didn't leave. And when I went out today, the first thing I did is look at it, tried it on, and I thought, no, if someone saw me in that, they'd just laugh at me. <laughs> no one would even notice, would but that's not the point. So it's all in our head as a watch addict, and you just think, oh, you take too much attention on your watch. I know I do, and no one ever notices that I'm wearing an Amiga or a Rolex. So it's just... It's just weird, isn't it, that we put so much attention and effort into what watch we're wearing that day. I just want to be in one of those situations where I just pick up a watch and wear it and forget about it. And I think that's why I'm trying to narrow down my collection a little bit because I'm simply, it takes too much time in the morning. It's quite, <laughs> quite stressful knowing which watch to wear. So if I get this on the proper bracelet, I'll have the Rolex date just, and I'm thinking of selling two or three others as well. I might get one more in there. I might get the elusive two-tone watch that I've been after for so long. God, that's taking some buying. 
So it's all about the Globemaster, the stupid jubilee with the non-fitted end links. What do you think, guys? Should I persevere or should I get it back on the leather? Right, guys, I'm going to watch football. Oh, we haven't had one of them for a while, have we? Stupid camera. Over and out. I'll see you in the next one.